differentiation of function x equals sine x from first principles. Now we know that f dash x equals the limit as h goes towards 0 of function x plus h minus function x over h. So if function x equals sine x, then f dash x is equal to the limit as h goes towards 0 of sine x plus h minus sine x on h. Now we're going to use a very important uh, theorem that we learned earlier to simplify that numerator. Now if you remember earlier, you know that sine a minus sine b equals 2 cos of a plus b on 2 sine of a minus b on 2. So here I'm going to let a equal x plus h and b equals x. So we have sine of x plus h minus the sine of x, which is the numerator here. And that's how we're going to simplify this. So just replacing the a here with x plus h and the b with x. And here the same thing, x plus h and x. Now, when we add those two together, we'll get 2x plus h over 2. And this just simply becomes h on 2. Now, what I've done here, I've divided the, the 2 into this, giving you the x and you've got the h over 2. And now what we'll do, we'll, we'll simply put that back in to the numerator. And you see I've put that back into the numerator, replaced the sine x plus h minus sine x with the 2 cos x plus h on 2 sine h over 2. Now we'll split the limit up here. You'll see I've got the limit as h goes towards 0 of the cos times the limit of this one. Now, if you recall, we went through a, an earlier video and we proved that as h goes towards 0, or h on 2 goes towards 0, the same thing, then the sine of h on 2 over the sine of h over 2 is equal to 1. So all that there, all that bit there is equal to 1. Right? So that's why that was such an important limit. So from that, the rest is quite easy, because you can see as h goes towards 0, that'll go out, and we get the final result of f dash x equal cos x. Now, this is the hardest of all the proofs. Um, in my next video, what I'll do, I'll um, prove that the, I'll find the derivative of cos x, then tan x, and sec x, and cosec x, and tan x, and cot x, and so on. All right, well, that's the uh, derivative of sine x from first principles. And it's a very important one.